Hello and welcome to session number 65, Outlander's Guide to Ladaria. Hi. Hello. Hiya. Welcome. Hi. We're here. We're here on our table. It is becoming more and more of a mess. But it's beautiful. What? It's not a mess, it's art. <laughs> yes. It's art. <laughs> My gosh. I hope we never... Nothing ever happens to these drawings. We know the tabletop simulator can be finicky. <laughs> then here. we'll have to start over. This is a <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't know. I've just been discovering it as I go along. No plan, it's going... just. Oh. Just art. <laughs> Alright, speaking of you doing things. <laughs> what? <laughs> Art. Speaking of you doing things as 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 you go along, yes. That is that is actually how I'm doing the summary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> but then. I do require the use of a sp of a special tool. <laughs> uh, say say nothing else. <laughs> say no more. Oh Welcome yes! Welcome back. Oh, we're back. back. To it's our been a gorgeous while. conspiracy board. Thinking um, things that are a mess. Probably gonna need some more of these bad boys. <laughs> big, small. <laughs> some as I'll big need as some your small, head. some small, but we can adjust them as we go. Yeah. Because we don't have much things? room for big ones anymore. <laughs> I don't think so. Well then. Then it shall be up to me. Oh, yep. Um, all right. So here we are <laughs> back at the Community Conspiracy Cork Board, the CCC. <laughs> and uh, we've we've been on the receiving end of some more uh, crazy revelations. Um, and so we're going to, to now be handling those. Uh, and so let's start with actually rewinding a little bit further past this last session um, into our conversation with the wolf. Um, so the wolf, uh, let's see, where is the wolf? He's over here. The wolf um, is not, I mean, the wolf is in fact a drow, as we've discussed. The wolf is not an Ezin. And so I need to apologize to Sid you were right on that quiz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would have changed the results, but I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, the the wolf was talking to us about a bunch of stuff and about the gnomes and how uh, they were they were dealing with the Nahadrin stuff. And so so actually, all of those connections that we had made were correct, which leads me to believe that everything that <laughs> everything I've up. talked about is correct. Um, yeah, that's the conclusion I'm going to make there. Um, but yeah, this last session uh, began with Tekka going to hell. And uh, he, <laughs> he, was, he was shunted down into the watery depths um, until he arrived in uh, like a meeting room of sorts. And Tekka found a table uh, with two chairs. Uh, there was food and it seemed unaffected by the water and all that stuff. And the figure sitting in the chair opposite Tekka was a, a devil with a wolf body and like a snake coming out of its, its like the back of its neck, uh, named Korthoron. Korthoron? Korthoreth. 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 Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and put Korthoreth on this card and put a pin in it. And uh, Korthorath welcomed Tekka, said that he's been waiting for him. And um, uh, yeah, Korthorath was saying that he brought Tekka down here and that they had something to discuss. And so Korthorath, uh, also known as the Keeper of Drowned Secrets, uh, was talking to Tekka about the benefits of his gift. Um, and Tekka was wondering, well, what happens if I deny this gift? Um, and Korthorath was just eating a bunch of stuff. 
and uh, explain the benefits of the gift, and uh, and even offered a, an extra little bonus gift if he were to accept it. Um, but he said, once you accept it, that's it. You can't remove it. You can't get rid of this gift if you accept it. Um, but Kortharath was was uh, offering so many uh, enticing things, uh, such as bringing Sunny back to life, or breaking Pip's curse, or uh, any number of things that Tekka may have wanted. Um, they ended up making a deal, uh, which was that uh, Tekka would accept this gift on the condition that Kortharath brings Sunny back to life, and uh, in, at some point in the future, at a time of Tekka's choosing, Tekka could say his name and Kortharath would have to uh, do something or give something to, to Tekka, no matter what it is. Um, and Kortharath, in order to make it fair, said, well, then you'd have to do the same thing at some point. One day I'll call on you and you'd have to do something as well. Um, and he offered to put some conditions on it, and so Tekka did uh, add the conditions to not hurt his friends, not harm the continent of Ladaria. Uh, was there anything else as far as those conditions go? I think those were the two big ones. Oh, I can't make the strings anymore. <gasps> I'm so sorry, I took away your string power. My string power? Here you go. You can string now. Okay, thank you. Okay, so so Tekka is now bound to Kortharath. And another point of interest is that Squeak learned later, uh, after realizing which devil this was. Yes, it's a string theory board. <laughs> uh, that Kortharath's boss, uh, which is the snake on his on his uh, his neck is actually Magicatch. So we're going to connect these two, as there's a definite connection there. Uh, but, but Tekka returned to the, the realm of the living um, after learning all sorts of things about devil hierarchy and, and souls and how they are um, refashioned and reformed. Um, and uh, he had a conversation with Virian, and uh, Virian uh, was well, actually a lot more understanding than than Tekka may have expected, as far as making a deal with devils goes. Because uh, Virian was given a deal in exchange for not having her immortal soul trapped in the ocean. Uh, she has to go open a door. And she's not sure which door that is, but she believes she'll know it when she sees it. Uh, and so Virian has also made a deal with Matricatch, which I think is already connected. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to tell <laughs> on this board. <laughs> I think that's already there. Um, and so then Brooke, uh, Brooke's friend Sunny, uh, in Wisps, Wisps of Light, uh, reformed next to Brooke. The light took on a humanoid shape and uh, she's back and they just uh, Virian and Tekka let them let them sleep, get their rest. Um, but then in the morning they woke up, saw each other, hugged and uh, reminisced. Um, but then they had their own theories as to what was going on. Uh, as far as their dealings with the phantoms. Uh, because they could speak now about the experiences that they had. Uh, and they, they said that... Um, let's see. Ta -ta -ta -ta. To, at the end of the phantom training, there's one last test that you have to pass to become a phantom officially. Uh, and they, they said that this there was a chance that this last test could be lethal, could be killing either one of them, uh, but they asked if they wanted to follow through. But uh, Sunny believes that they, they tricked them, that they knew that this was going to happen, and, and uh, that this happened to every single pair of phantoms that went through training, because 
every phantom that goes into training goes in in pairs, and uh, apparently only one makes it out alive every single time. And um, Sunny was like, we have to stop this. We have to spread the word or or go to Brunoff and, and put an end to this. Um, but Brooke reminded Sunny that the, uh, the phantoms probably wouldn't take kindly to that and might hunt them down and kill them if they were to not be careful. So let's put uh, phantoms on a card. We'll connect them there. Way over here. I'll go ahead and put the strings there Oops. for that. <clears throat> now, there's actually something that we can connect to the phantoms, because we know that one of the ways Brooke could have restored the uh, curse of speech that was placed on his tongue was if he talked to Algam Impus, uh, which was the, the, uh, the, oh, what was he called? The voice of the wild or something like that. <laughs> the wild master. The, the wild tamer. Wild tamer. Um, and so there's, there's a, a definite similarity between the phantom's uh, speech curse and the curse that is placed on the gnome so that they can't talk about their uh, interesting reproductive uh, magic or whatever's going on with them. <laughs> That's a whole can of worms. Um, okay, moving on. Souls. What are they? The reason why they're tortured in the sea is because uh, in order to be purified, in order to balance the soul, they must receive the exact same amount of pain they've inflicted upon others in life and receive the exact same amount of good that they've done. And then it's sent back to be reborn and resume the cycle. Uh, let's put Let's put souls on here. And we can connect those souls to Kortharath. We can connect it to Magdragach. And I'm a thinking we oh can God. also connect it to the phantoms because Sunny's soul was inside Brook's body somehow so they had some method of being able to do that and their reasonings are unknown but Kortharath and the other devil sure didn't like it when that happened we might even be able to connect it to gnomes depending on whatever magic it is that they're using to reproduce so quickly what everyone with me the... so far what about mm -hmm. Jamil? there's some stole stuff going on there too Jam you what like what? You know, moving stalls over into different places and things. Connected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can also connect souls to the hole. <laughs> Is it the right? boy that consumes all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh. Brooke and Virian had a chat about the war. Uh, Virian was saying that she never really had a home. Uh, Brooke asked if she was a fighter before the war or if it made her one. Virian says that the war made her a fighter. She took control of a supply ship, never wanted to have to use a sword, all that stuff. Let's call this the ocean. Whoa. Virian is connected to the ocean. Really? Yes. Wow. There's an ocean in both Plurna and Ladaria. There are devils in the ocean. Uh, uh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Virian showed Brooke her uh, wedding ring. Um, 
because she knows what it's like to lose someone that she cares about. And Brooke asked to know about this person, and Virian said that she couldn't. Um, but she did know his name. His name was Corvin. Let's put Corvin on a card right here. Um, and Corvin died the day that their ship sank. So Corvin's in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and Virian is connected to Corvin. As far as she knows. Uh, but that's why she needs to that's why she needs to open the door. That's who she needs to get back uh, because uh, her memories were taken as part of the deal that she made with Magdragach to stay alive. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and their ship was called the Starless Sky. We can put that on a card. Sounds cool. You know what else is in the sky? dragons but I'm not gonna connect that Are you kidding me <laughs> they're unrelated <laughs> um can't write out this card oh. <laughs> oh, it, it needs to be locked <laughs> wow <laughs> you made, it, you made an ink stain. leave the smudge uh and then all right there you go we went back on our journey uh, Tekka started discovering some newfound strength uh, with werewolf powers. Let's go ahead and put a lycanthropy on this card. Yep, yeah, pick smaller words, buddy. Werewolfism. <laughs> WW. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is... Tekka is now a werewolf. Is... Is this... Yeah, but carry on. What? Just carry on. What? No, no, it's fine. Lycanthropy is also connected to the phantoms. Because freaking what's-his-name is a werewolf. You know who else is a werewolf? A werewolf? Yep. <laughs> is he on here? <laughs> We don't know his name. We still don't know his name. Nope. Put the werewolf, the Krelko werewolf on here. The pins, the pins. <laughs> and the wolf might be a werewolf. I'm just gonna connect it cause they're both wolves. All right, let's talk about drugs. <laughs> Back on our journey, uh, we were traveling down towards Jam towards the location of Jamuel's staff when we found uh, an Ezin traveling. Uh, we gave him a hawk bear and some rations, and in return, he gave Pip drugs. Pip took the drugs, had a nice trip. People had to restrain him from attacking everyone around him. Uh, but had a good time. They turn out to be some good ingredients and stuff anyway. Let's put drugs on here. <laughs> and let's put Ezin over here. Which admins, please forgive me. <laughs> I, I do not encourage anything. I do not encourage making deals <laughs> <Nothing>. with devils. <laughs> We can connect drugs to Ezin and Pip to drugs. <laughs> Not <kidding. laughs> I got you. If you put it in text, uh, yeah, it, it will be fine. Legal, legally, we're not condoning drugs. That's mm -hmm. right here. Uh, then we kept the traveling and oh, we found very quickly another Ezin traveling. And we're starting to feel that something weird was going on. Uh, but Tekka asked um, this Ezin named Vil if he had seen a staff. And Vil pointed in the opposite direction from where they were headed. Uh, and said it was about three days away. Nui seemed uncomfortable around the Ezin. Um, 
and Nui seemed to know where we were and that she couldn't go any further. Um, but uh, we kept going and found another masked Ezin uh, until we saw a river flowing uphill, um, seemingly headed towards the castle. But this is where we had to part ways with Nui. As Nui um, simply could not go further. She said she was not ready yet. Um, and we we started heading inward, summoning some tough hawk bears and heading into the <laughs> cave until we found an enormous, well-lit castle full tough. of people, but so very, very quiet. And uh, before we hop into the session, theory time. Ooh. <gasps> All right. So I shared this with my friends all with you, but I'm going to share it with you all too. Here's what I think's happening. Seskaren, do we have a card for him? No, I don't think so. <laughs> put New it card. On, on these oh God, strings. Hold on, I need more. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Seskaren's connected to Orm Tinhart. Oh no, what am I doing? Yep. <laughs> uh, and we know that Seskarin tossed Jamuel's staff into the ocean. Seskarin's connected to Jamuel. And now it's it reappears halfway across the continent in a location accessible by the river. We know the ocean uh, has devils in it. And so it's possible that a fiend took the staff relocated it to the Ezin factory <laughs> let's put Ezin factory on here perm coined by Jory thank you Jory <laughs> Ezin come from the Ezin factory Ezin factory is connected to fiends such as Magdracatch and Korthoroth. I don't have a card for fiends, so I'm just gonna make it personal. <laughs> uh, and it could be that the Ezin factories are run by devils, uh, and this may even be the location where they purify souls. Um, Ladarians who are ready to come to die come to this spot, have their souls taken out and purified, and then they send the, the husks, the soulless bodies, off to practice medicine so we're gonna connect the Essen factory to souls and i think that's it is it no i forgot to connect viri into the ship no okay <laughs> that's fine and core into the ship and the ship to the ocean <laughs> <laughs> okay now we're good <laughs> This is legible. When I when I look at this, it's like I understand the entire campaign just at a glance. Yeah, that's the idea. I understand it. Well, since uh, this is a conspiracy board, I will call this the conspiration. I've already got go. one of those. You do? Oh shit! I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm an original. <laughs> Conspiration too. Nice. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no more of these. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Only took half an hour. <laughs> Worth it, I say. Very carefully save all of it. Okay, it's done. We'll see how many of those things will come true. Mm. On Maybe. today's episode of... <laughs> Outlander's Guide to Ladaria. Oh, screenshot, thank you. Welcome. Okay. So, um, where do I have things? Right here. <clears throat> Um, boop. 
um, the tunnel that has led you all the way here abruptly opens into a massive underground cavern. Before you appears a glass castle, almost like a mirage, its spires and towers reaching toward the rocky ceiling like skeletal fingers. Beside the castle lies a tranquil lake, its surface as smooth as glass, mirroring the castle's construction. From the lake's far end, a gentle river emerges, winding its way through the tunnel that has led you here. You walk up to the construction, its walls shimmering gently with the light of various torches, lighting up the entire structure. It almost looks like, like the ghost of an eternal sentinel, standing watch over the lake. Walking through its streets are dozens and dozens of Ezen, mask, masked figures moving around purposefully but calmly, their steps almost completely silent upon the glass floor. They hardly speak to one another, and when they do, their voices are mere whispers. The quietude of their movements and the hushed stillness that envelops the castle contribute to an unsettling atmosphere. The place almost feels abandoned, despite the movement. I know you have come here for a very particular purpose, but the question, of course, is what would you like to do? Uh, I think Tekka would approach one of the nearby Essen who's not in an active conversation and just like try to like greet them and get some information from them. Okay. Um, the Essen you approach is um is an especially tall one. Um, he, since he didn't seem to be talking to anyone, um, that's the one you picked. Uh, what he was doing was leaning over um, a table. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, close enough to the entrance here. There's a sort of like large, almost like plaza-like sort of opening. Uh, a lot of open space and a lot of tables that are arranged almost like this is a market. Um, they they do look like stalls, and there is an assortment of items on all of these tables, uh, and they are arranged by type. There's a lot of uh, food on one side, there's various tools on another, even weapons on a different one, uh, but none of these stands are manned. There isn't anyone behind them, there's only people in front of them, browsing and taking things. So, uh, the as a new approach as you as you walk up to him, you slowly turns, and uh, as is always the case, you can't really make eye contact or even quite be able to tell if it's if he's actually looking at you. But you seem to have his attention. Uh, yeah, then Tekka would speak in that affair. Hello, I am Tekka. We are new here. What is this place? The Ezen raises an arm and points further into the castle, the road that just leads away from the entrance. You do not speak. The Ezen just tilts his head a little bit to the side. Most of them don't speak very much, Tekka. Oove barely said anything. I understand. Uh, yeah, Tekka will point in the same direction as the Ezen did and keep on walking. Uh, probably like looking at some of the tables, like just what sort of items are there. Okay. Um, are you, would, are you looking for anything in particular? Hmm. Probably tools, if anything. There are plenty of tools. They they go from just all sorts of things. A lot of them are for, um, 
things that you would have around the house, uh, those gardening tools, uh, there's, you spot a set of uh, vials and containers and ingredients that seem to be for potion making, um, Pepe, you, you set your eyes on a bunch of uh, plants and mushrooms and uh, there's even small um, animal pieces, there's feathers, there's <clears throat> clumps of uh, fur. Again, everything is somewhat in um, organized. There are no signs. And Ezen, Ezens are the one that are buying and selling these, mostly? Uh, buying and selling would not be the terms I would use. They walk up to these tables, they take things, and they walk away. Mm. Is anybody, like, restocking the tables, or is just just kind of... When someone takes it, the spot stays empty for a while, or passing by to find it? Or too quickly to. Yeah, is there no. like a wheelbarrow yeah. of dead Ezin that they're taking <laughs> stuff off of and putting them back on the tables? <laughs> like, um, I'm mostly just like asking: like, is, Are they like manned at all? Even if there's like nobody actively taking currency, and they're not. At at the moment, you don't see anyone putting things on these tables. And there is definitely no exchange of currency. Nobody is taking things and leaving money behind. They're just taking. Uh, Tekka is going to take out a piece of chalk from his bag and place it by wherever like writing utensils would be. Okay. There will be other pieces of chalk. They all look new. Never never used before. And you restock the table a little bit. And no one around seems to react at that? No. Despite the fact that uh, thus far you've only seen Ezin around and you're the only ones who aren't Nobody has looked at you. Nobody seems to be paying you much attention. They notice you and they keep on doing what they're doing. We've stepped into like the castle courtyard, essentially. Oh, um, yeah. You're within its walls. Well, we're not dead yet. So that's good. That is true. I mean, it... I'm sorry, I'm just very unsettled right now. This is, um, I've met about three of these guys in my life and they were all in the last 48 hours. So they're, they're always like, like this. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think over the last, like, five years, I'd only heard Oov talk, like, mm, 20 times? Huh. Everyone roll a perception check. Ah, didn't mean to roll with advantage. I did, but it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's kind of far away, but because there is just so little noise in this castle, Pip, you hear a voice calling out in Plurnan, saying, Hello. Good oh. morning. Um, 
Hello? Where's it coming from? Do I see someone? Um, no. Further up ahead, behind a few turns, the line of sight is currently broken from the source of the noise, of the voice. It just and then starts you hear off in that direction. Multiple voices, all together, repeating. Hello, good morning. Like a small crowd, about a dozen people, all at the same time. Oh no. We came on their language lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pip goes to check it out. Uh, <laughs> and, and yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what's going on. Uh, you, uh, you, you take a few turns and uh, you, you find this small group of Ezen that are all sitting down on this like series of benches in a semicircle, one Ezen standing in the middle. Um, they all have these papers with them and the one in the middle is saying all these little simple greetings, simple sentences in Plurnan. And the others are repeating and taking notes. Every single one of them, as usual, they all look physically, they have like different uh, body types, um, and all of their masks are unique, and they're not necessarily wearing the same fabrics or the same colors, but they're all always covered from head to toe, and the, their voices sound different. And yeah, it, this seems to be a plurin and lesson. This is also the most talking is, that any of Was you there do. a teacher? Yeah, the, the one in the middle. The one standing in the middle uh, is the one that is saying the the sentences and the others all around are repeating them. It doesn't look any different while, from the others, just another resin. No, just another resin. Every once in a while, they uh, the, they speak in as fair, and Tech understands that the one in the middle is explaining what each sentence means, um, and occasionally correcting someone else's pronunciation. And this is going to be like the most you you have heard thus far in Ezin ever say. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on. This is really weird. The as in the middle of the group points uh, at you. Oh and no. And then Tekka here uh, understands in as in fair. Um, the teacher saying. <laughs> 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 the teacher <laughs> repeating in as in fair. This is really weird. And everybody else takes notes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are aware. Should we speak with them? I mean, if you think they'll be helpful. Never, never hurts to be courteous. Fine. Ah, uh, yeah, Tekka will then walk up. Uh, hold a hand up and say we are visitors as uh, saying this in Esenfer. In, in Esenfer? Yeah. yeah. Um, some of uh, the Esen, they put down their pens and papers. Uh, um, all, all, almost all of them turn to face you. The teacher in the middle tra um, translates what you said in Esenfer into Plurnan. Some of them take notes still, um, and then finally they seem to all just come to a, to a to a halt as far as the lesson is concerned. Um, <clears throat> a couple of the Ezen say in, in Plurnan, hello, almost as if practicing, uh, but the teacher addresses you in Ezenfair uh, and says, Are you lost? We seek guidance. Are you prepared to go? 
Uh, yeah, Tekka, I think, looks back at the group. Are we ready to go? Is there anything um, else? <laughs> I, <laughs> Tekka, I don't know if that's what he meant. I... Does Pip understand as in fair? Because I know Virian does not. Only Tekka. Only Tekka, okay. Oh no. So they have this <laughs> conversation in as in fair? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, go, go, go where? Um, is, I mean, is there like more like castle proper, not courtyard ahead? Um, yeah. This place is is massive. Um, yeah. You're merely a little bit beyond the outer wall. And the wall itself, like the construction of the castle thus far, uh, particularly for those of you who have uh, lived through the Silent War and uh, have seen fortresses of all sorts, um, it seems less... It, it doesn't really look like it's been built to defend this place. It's... Almost like it's been built to just look the way it does. It it doesn't seem to have, uh, for for one, there aren't really any watchtowers. You've seen maybe one as in with weapons that looked like perhaps they might have been a guard. Um, so this just feels more like this big city in the shape of a castle rather than a pro a an actual castle. Um, yeah, there's there's much more to go, much more to see. Yeah. I mean, we're not ready to leave if that's what he meant, but we want to go further in. We will be guided, I believe. Uh, yeah, Tekka will look back to the teacher. Uh, and saying that's a fair. When lost items are found, where are they collected? That is where we seek to go. The Ezen will point towards one of the towers. And it doesn't really look any different from all the other ones. They all have slightly different heights and sizes, but that's really all... So he, he points at that one and says, Items are gathered there. Does this building have a name? Castle. Castle. Thank you. Carry on your lesson. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think Tekka would like address the group, uh, like, uh, well, the group of students uh, and saying, Plurden, good luck. Some of them say, thank you. Uh, yeah, Tekka go now addressing back to the group. Apparently there is where you could start looking for the staff where lost items are collected. Is as uh, good a place to start as any? Um, I think Viren just kind of turns back to the group and just sort of awkwardly waves a, um, a thank you. And then kind of hurriedly starts in that direction. What's the <laughs> lost and found? <laughs> okay. That particular tower is a fair distance away, and you begin to walk. You don't really know the roads. You're just you just have a faint idea of where you came from and which direction you're going. And every once in a while, you come across a, a dead end, and you have to retrace your steps a little bit and pick a different path. But 
Uh, for the most part, the layout of the castle is quite straightforward. Uh, the roads are, don't twist and turn too much. Um, it's mainly everything laid out in um, a semi-checkboard pattern. Uh, I'll, I'll ask for another perception check from everybody. Uh, could I ask about one thing while we do that? Absolutely. So, like the stream of passers-by, does there seem like to be more people walking in a certain direction? Like, is it out of the castle, towards the castle, uh, or like the center of the towers? Most people seem to just be remaining within. The people leaving or coming in are very few and far in between. They seem to be living here. Living and perhaps performing jobs. There's a... You do spot a few who seem to be uh, either building walls or repairing rooftops. Uh, um, the kind of things you would see in any other settlement. Uh, um, minus, well, for one, there's the absence of, of merchants. Uh, you did spot, however, some as in uh, plucking mushrooms back like outside of the castle. You did, you did see some that were fishing into the lake. Um... Mm, yeah, that's that's it. Gotcha. Yeah, thank you. Okay, this time it's uh, not right away though. Uh, not that. Not that. Okay. Virion, um. You know to trust your gut feeling, and so when you get this sense of like being watched, you you trust it. You begin to look around, but it's really hard to tell with those masks and those hoods which of these as an if any are looking your way. But there's just this feeling in the back of your mind. And um, it persists. The further you walk, like, you feel like you're being followed. Mm -hmm. After a couple minutes of like, you're just kind of like looking back over her shoulder, she'll just sort of... I, I think she's actually been like subconsciously like whispering this entire time just because it's so quiet here. So, just, um, I don't mean to alarm you, but I just feel like we're being watched. Maybe we're being followed, but I don't know by who. It's just got that, that feeling. I think I'd be a little more surprised if we weren't being watched. No, not... Not the sort of, you know, somebody looks up at you and watches you pass by sort of watch, but the somebody is keeping very close tabs on us and is making sure we don't know where they are. How do you know that? Listen, I'm 420 years old. Oh, you just know? You, you learn to trust your gut. Wow. You've never had that feeling that somebody was was watching you. Um, I did when when we were we were in the jungle, and something was watching us. Yeah. See. Whoa. Pay attention to that. It's uh, it comes in handy. How does your body know before your eyes do? You know what? That's just one of the great mysteries of life. <laughs> At Virion's warning, uh, uh, both Sunny and Brooke would uh, start keeping keeping an eye out, uh, tensing up a little bit, and just uh, just watching, watching your back. Uh, do you continue? Yeah. Yeah. 
Eventually, you make it to the tower that has been pointed out to you. There is one of the very, very, very guards in this castle standing before the entrance. Uh, this as an also still covered in, in clothes from head to toe, but also wearing armor and holding this really um, this spear as tall as they are. Uh, as you approach the entrance to the tower, they tap the spear on the ground and they say, Only take what you need. And it opens the door for you. Thank you. That is awfully trusting of them. When you step in, the interior of the tower is also made of glass for the most part. Uh, the floor beneath your feet is stone, and so it's the very base of the wall around you. The tower is circular, and so is the inside of it, uh, the, the shape of the room that you are in. And uh, uh, there is a spiral staircase that just leads to the, uh, to the floors above. And immediately, as soon as you step in, besides the slight change in temperature, with things that are a little bit less chilly in here, you are surrounded by shelves and tables and uh, uh, crates of all sorts of items. It's like, um, um, it, it, it appears to be a sort of storage room, um, and I'll keep it si simple for you. You can find everything in here that is in the equipment section of the player's handbook. From weapons, armor, tools, not the mounts. <laughs> oh. You find you would find their like saddles. Um, speaking of saddles, you would have been allowed to bring the horses into the castle, but not into the tower. Mm. Oh. They're not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> they, they cool with the hawk bears. Too. <laughs> yeah, the hawk bears in the cave. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> One reason they might feel so safe is that you cannot easily keep secrets here. And Tega just like pointing his hand uh, towards like these glass walls. I think there's a saying about people who live in glass houses, but I'm thinking <laughs> on it right now. <laughs> yeah, how far can you see through, like, the walls? The more walls you're looking through and the more, like, the the less you can see. So you can't see through the entire castle at once. Um, but, like, you can see outside of the tower that you are in. And then, like, through the walls of the buildings directly around you. Uh, so some of the... Uh, you, you've been able to see into every building that you have passed it thus far. You've seen inside of private houses, um, and yeah, you. you uh, so you'd be you. You would know that uh, uh, the furniture generally within buildings is made of either wood or stone. Um. Yeah. Wow. Um. Yeah, this is really cool. You think the staff is in here? I mean, it would be really, really easy if it was, and I would really appreciate it. Did we have the orb still, or is that with Talix? I believe you left it in Orm's Tower. Why did we do that? Talix left it there. Talix? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guess we'll start digging around. So, do you know what the staff looks like? Because I don't. 
We'll know it when we see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys do, minus uh, Averin. You do know what it looks like because you saw it uh, in the dream where Jamuel and Arin interacted with Pontifex's parents. Uh, right at the end of the dream, like you saw, you saw that the staff was leaning against uh, Jamuel's couch, and then like he used it at the end. Uh, and as soon as I bring up my notes, I'll be able to tell you what it looks like. And I said at the beginning of the session that I didn't need my notes. <laughs> I lied. Winter. I know. How could you lie to us? Uh, here um, it is. So it's a wooden staff. Wow, Perfect. that's all I wrote. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 we have a great idea of what it looks like. <laughs> oh, uh, like you can get me. this. It's wooden. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Um, Here's a stick. Is this it? <laughs> I have heard of Jamuel. I would imagine something more ornate. Okay. Fancy. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, the staff is wooden. The the tip at the bottom is pretty pointy, almost like it's meant to stab. Um, across oh. from one end to the other, it is etched in arcane runes. Runes, runes, just from the entire surface and on every side as well. Uh, instead of being like fully round, uh, it's been carved in more of a, of a hexagonal shape. And the top has uh, three wider um, like ridges. At the very top, there is a purple gemstone and it goes through from one end of the staff to the other. Um, what so goes you would absolutely from one to the other? A, a purple gemstone. So you would be absolutely able to uh, to see it, to recognize it when you see it. It's quite distinctive. Uh, it's also not too big. It's about uh, like if it's like halfling sized. Uh, so it's not. Uh, it would look kind of small, for example, in Brooke's hands. Uh, it would be about as tall as Jamuel, Jamuel is. Well, at least it's distinctive. Finders keepers! <laughs> Race you to it! Um, again, in here, much like in the market, items are appear to be, for the most part, sorted. Um... So when you don't see anything resembling staves on this floor, you begin to go, to go up to a different floor. Um, and there's a few Ezen in here who are either taking items or sorting items. So you see them like some of them carrying um, things from one end of the room to another. Uh, there's one of them who is lifting crates around. Uh, and uh, you get to a floor that uh, for, uh, appears uh, to have mainly walking sticks. Uh, so you start poking around there, and then you move on from there. Everybody roll an investigation check. <gasps> I also would like to ask... Do you look for anything other than the staff? Hmm. So, not looking, but if we happen to pass any food, Virin will take one day's worth of rations. <laughs> you do pass. Way, uh, it. You do pass the floor uh, with food. The food floor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, some of it. There is a section where the food is fresh. There is like um, freshly caught fish. Um, that that is being kept in ice. There is there are um, plants 
that are still fresh and then there is like a section with dried food there's jerky there's nuts uh, things that would last uh, much longer um, and you put together a, a healthy and diverse set of uh, rations just one just one because okay, that, that, that will not be difficult to do <laughs> and and there is uh, yeah there, there is plenty it there is so much food here that it hardly looks like you took anything um, yeah, this is a also trap. on the <laughs> on this specific <laughs> floor there isn't even any as in whatsoever um so you just take the food and you don't see how anyone wouldn't even know that you did oh good uh, back to six, plus. Ten, Winter. six. Oh, uh, yeah. has pip ever seen oove eat Pip would have seen Oof eating. Okay. I know that Pip... Uh, I, I know. I think I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, but like Pip used to actively spend time with them, right? Like oh, yeah. Just hang out, talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Pip would have seen him eat. Uh, I'm going to use um, my inspiration on this roll to re-roll. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the... Generally, Oof would have asked for privacy when eating. Uh, Pip was even younger back then, so I'd like to imagine that occasionally they still either snuck in or walked in while they were eating. Um, and he would have seen it like who would raise the mask just enough to be able to push like food into their mouth, but never mm. fully remove it. Uh, what's the result of Ooh, 15? 15. Okay. You guys would believe that uh, um, some of these tapes would be um, of Pontifex's liking. You don't really know. Some of them are more decorated than others. There are three that have gemstones in them. One in particular um, has more than one um, and has like this array of rainbow colored gemstones that go in a, in a spiral from the top of the staff to about a quarter of the way down. Uh, this one is made of metal. The other two with just one gemstone on top are made of wood. Uh, one of them is specifically uh, a walking uh, stick. It has like the, the bent part on top for, for grabbing and for leaning onto. Um, but no other stuff that has a gem in it and that matches what you guys saw or beer and what you have been just described. You don't find what you're looking for. Uh, in the case of Tekka, um, you have remained focused on your task. Uh, whereas the others got distracted either by other shiny things or perhaps just by keeping an eye on, on the surroundings or wondering if you it's really okay if you take any of this or how anyone would know if you took more than what you needed. Um, but you feel pretty confident, Tekka, that the stuff you're looking for is not here. Mm -hmm. Everything is pretty organized after all, so <clears throat> you doubt it would have fallen behind that shelf. Imagine if, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's been used to prop open a door somewhere. <laughs> yeah. If it's not here, then someone must have taken it as their own. Do, do you think it's... Difficult. It's worth asking someone if they've seen it. The guard outside... The, the guard outside, the people who were sorting things, stocking things. Definitely. That is a good call. You seem to be able to speak to them, so I'll, I'll leave it to you. Yeah, then uh, Tekka will head down. I, I guess in the people, uh, the essence that were taking things are probably gone, but if there's someone left sorting... Uh... Yeah, there's, there's someone sorting the items. Excuse me, we are looking for one particular staff. 
belonging to someone. Could you help us look for one? The Ezen points directly up and says, Fifth floor. And that's where you guys were just looking for it. That's where all the uh, walking sticks were. We have looked. It is not there. If I describe it to you, could you recall? The Ezen nods? Uh, yeah, then Tekka will like give a description based on what we saw in that dream. Okay. Uh, and then, as you provide a description, the Ev the Ezen shakes their head. Is there someone else that would know more? Another shake of the head. Oh, confident. <laughs> <laughs> I speak to your manager. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a leader in this castle? Someone who keeps track of things. Ensures things are in order. The, the Ezen points at the wall, and through the wall, you can see off in the distance that they're pointing at the tallest spire of the castle. And the Ezen says, She who sees within. Does she have another name? Or a Iskasek. Title? I see. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yezin goes back to sorting. Uh, yeah, Tekka will return to the group. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. They have seen nothing like the staff you're looking for. But there is a leader in that tallest tower. And we know it's not an Ezen. Well, how do you know that, Pip? How do you know <laughs> that? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Every single Ezen I've ever met has a three-letter name. <laughs> <laughs> what if they're all just nicknames? Um, uh, no. <laughs> no. I'm using my noggin here. Professor would be proud if Professor didn't leave us. Uh, <laughs> Pip, are uh, you related to an Ezen? I... No? Isn't... Yeah, but 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 wait! Isn't two, uh, <gasps> just two letters? Uh, I guess I... Hey, God! <laughs> <laughs> I guess what I should say is... No more than three. <laughs> I, I mean, I was just taking your word for it that the staff was here. Are you sure that's accurate? That's. Yeah, we did trigonometry to prove it. It is well, the, the same professor method did. <laughs> Jamuel had used to track his belongings. And you're certain it, it wasn't, you know, busted or anything? I do not know magic. I am not the one to ask. Well, let's the go talk to her. <laughs> I, mean, I agree. Can't, can't hurt. Uh, yeah, as, as we leave this tower, does the guard react at all? 
Uh, before you leave the tower, you would, since the walls are made of glass, you'd be able to see something as you're going down the stairs. Uh, by the time you arrive uh, at the uh, bottom floor, uh, looking towards the exit, the, the guard is still there, and there's another Ezen that is just standing in front of the entrance, like a small distance away from the guard, but not interacting with them, and is looking towards the the entrance of the tower and just standing is he standing there menacingly or just normally I will not specify if it's menacing or not that's up to you to decide <laughs> inside check <laughs> <laughs> go for it <laughs> um, depending on how you feel about Ezin, most of them are unsettling to begin with. That's how Plurnans feel in general towards them, uh, partially because they're always masked, partially just because of how different they are from any other Plurnan or, or Lidarian humanoid. Um, they're obviously very different culturally and very different in how they behave and how they interact with people, but they generally earn the trust of even Plurnans because they provide services and they're always helpful. Um, you, having lived uh, in Lidarian society, you know to respect them a lot. Um, no Lidarian is unsettled by them, uh, they they are well respected uh, what they do and who they are <clears throat> um, so the behavior of this particular Ezen does seem off to you they're usually always doing something they're never really just waiting around uh, they're always making themselves useful in one way or another uh, even if it's just cleaning or anything and uh, this one is also like slightly slouched over a little bit and like uh, leaning a bit more on their left leg than their right. Something does seem off about them. Menacing perhaps is not the word I would use, but uh, something is off. Uh, yeah, I think, if nothing else, Tekka will just approach this Ezin. Yeah, you, st um, to, to, to approach him, you do step out, and to answer your previous question, the guard does not stop you, does not interact mm -hmm. with you. You take a step out, and, uh, uh does the group follow? Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay, with, with the rest uh, of the others uh, immediately behind, um, Virion, this particular as in the uh, the fabrics that they're wearing you've seen them around here and there in the streets as you walked and then it kind of clicks this person has been following you this person is the one that like got got your um like that, that gut feeling going mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and as a group steps out of the tower the Ezen slowly raises a uh, hand um, almost like pointing at you, but not not quite closing all the fingers to actually complete the gesture. And uh, they say, help me. How? What do you need help with? Very slowly, the Ezen points away towards one of the many roads it takes it takes them like a full 15 seconds to finish the movement oh um and also they spoke in plurnan mm. um pip 
And and Tekka, you who would have had more chances of interacting with Ezin than anyone else before? Never have you heard an Ezin ask for help. They're always the ones offering help. Um, what do you need? The Ezin takes one step away from the tower. Very slow, then another step. And it's not quite in the direction where they pointed. It's they're moving away from the guard. Yeah, Pip will follow. Yep. Oh, uh, Viren would definitely, like, as we're kind of following, just lean in. This was the one that was following us, I think. Um, I saw them uh, around a few times. That's okay. Just needed help. I'd stalk someone if I needed their help. <laughs> yeah, we, we can address that later. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you're a small distance away from the tower and the guard and no one else is around you, the Ezen slows down and corrects their the direction they're walking towards to be where they actually pointed and uh, they they uh, they whisper and it's kind of hard to hear them because of the mask and just how quiet they're being and the voice is shaking a little bit uh, but they just say imploring in a single word mine Do you mean mine as in yours, or mine as a, in a place where you dig? It, it's mine. What's have, yours? Have you lost something? M me. You lost yourself. Help me. It just looks up to the adults yeah. in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I was unsettled before, and now I am incredibly unsettled. Um, can you take us to where yourself is? Maybe. <laughs> the Ezen resumes walking in the direction where they pointed. Okay, everyone else thinks this is weird, right? This is really weird? Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, um. You know what I said about walking in a certain danger earlier? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think we're doing that right now. Oh, cool. We get used to it. Yeah. We there yet? <laughs> <laughs> we there yet? I'm <laughs> 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 so We there yet? He's walking. They're walking Tekka. so slow. Tekka. So you know, he, <laughs> this. Yeah, so all. Good? Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> all as in act generally in their day-to-day -day life and in this castle like anywhere else like they're never really in a rush uh there have been very few occasions where any of you have seen an ezin actually hurry somewhere and it's always been emergencies uh, people you would have seen oof occasionally when somebody hurt themselves badly and could couldn't even be taken to the infirmary then oof would rush wherever they were needed and that was like the only uh, occasions where you would have ever seen them actually run. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they all always are in no rush to go where they're going, to do what they need to do, and this has an, in particular, even slower. Um, they, they just seem to be struggling to walk. Like, p putting one foot in front of the other is always this, this enormous challenge um, that they, they have to 
use all of their strength for. Um, but and you see them occasionally having to lean against a building and then sort of just pulling themselves back together and continuing. And there finally comes a moment where uh, further up ahead you can see this glass archway that leads to what seems to be just an open area, like a plaza or some kind of courtyard. Everything's still made of glass and starting to look very samey. Um, it, it's... It doesn't look like a particular type of location that is much different from anything you've passed thus far. Uh, the only the only thing of note is that there is a guard in front of this archway. Uh, the Ezen you've been following has been uh, has stopped uh, perhaps 40, 50 feet away from, from them, um, behind a corner, just came around to point that way, and says nothing else. What took you? Me. Are you hiding from the guards right now? Help me. It's just gonna go where he's pointing. Okay. Okay. You walk forward towards the archway. Uh, this guard also holding uh, a spear like the one in front of the tower that you, that you were just in. Um, the the archway doesn't have like a any kind of door. It's just this open entranceway um, to, to this uh, area behind the behind them. Uh, but the guard does. Well, does try to get your attention, much like the other one, they hit the ground with the back of the spear. Uh, and they say, please do not continue. Okay, Pip walks back. This. <laughs> 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 Okay, something really weird is going on here. That's it's not just me. No. Must we pass this to find you? The Ezen you've been following, and now they're leaning against the nearest wall. With one hand, they're they're clutching at, at like their chest, um, and they slowly nod. Uh, yeah, I think Tekka, uh, is going to try to carry this Essen, bring them to the archway. Oh? You just picked them up on your, on your back? Uh, yeah, just like carry in both arms. Okay. Yeah. Um... So with with your with your new strength, that would not be difficult to do at all. You can pick them up quite easily. Um, at first, you're surprised at how light they are, but then you realize no, it just you're just that strong. Um, but and you do hear them grunt, kind of almost as if uh, in pain. Um, and very, very weakly, they they try to get back on their feet. Uh, yeah, once we get to the archway, uh, Taka will let them stand back on their field, feet uh, and we'll address the guard. Yeah, you deposit this... the Ezen in front of the guard. Mm hmm. This one needs help. They are weak and they must pass. The guard briefly looks between the two of you and then says. No. And then points at one of the many spires in the castle, uh, one that you haven't been to yet before, and says, Help there. Why do you deny them rest? 
no help here. Then what is here? That which must be kept safe. Selfishness and the uncaring. No qualities should be kept safe. It is dangerous beyond this point. Help is offered in that tower. They are already struggling to walk, yet you expect them to walk to another tower. Hell can be found here. The guard says nothing. Uh, yeah. Tekka is just gonna keep walking forward then. Oh, past them? Yep. Okay. Um, you step beyond them. You hear the guard, um, saying... And not really shouting. It's not a very commanding voice. Just in the same uh, half whisper, they say, Please stop. You step in, and uh, um, this is a wide open area. There's still, it, it, you're still out in the open. Um, and uh, there is a few more guards around here. Per, uh, I think four or five of them. Um, one that is just going, just doing the rounds in the area. There's this section in the middle that looks like it um, perhaps used to be a fountain or is going to be one. It's not currently working. It's just a structure in the middle. Um, to your right, there is some empty space and to your left, you see a cage made of glass. Three of the guards surround it and within the cage you see something that uh, um, you have seen before um, a very big, um, almost as tall as you are, uh, bright red humanoid heart with these tendrils that just kind of come out of it uh, as sort of arms and, and legs. It is standing on them and it is pushing them through the bars, um, just slowly moving them around. Um, you take in the view and uh, the the guardia just walked past and the other one that, that was doing the rounds around there, um, they are both approaching. Uh, what would you like to do? We have given you reason why we must walk. You have not given us reason why we must stop. There is no help to be offered, dear. Help is offered in that tower. And the same guard is still pointing at one of the spires. Help is wherever the living are. Man. Me, the dungeon master, I want to agree. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I mean, sure, but... <laughs> um, these are like the most chill and less hurried guards that you might have ever come across. So they're not really running towards you. They're not really trying to hurt you with their weapons. Uh, but the one that was behind you does extend a hand. Um, and... Saying that they're trying to grab you would really not be correct. They're slowly reaching for your hand. Like, in a way that's almost friendly? Um, as they insist, help is found in that tower. Help is found here. <laughs> I think Pip is going to look to the uh, to the Ezen that's that's been wanting us to help him, and mm -hmm. then look over to the heart, and then say, "Is 
Is that you? Help me. Uh, is he pointing like towards the heart or they're, further they're in? They're still clutching their chest, not really point at, pointing anywhere. Did, what? I don't. What? <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> just getting frustrated at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you're gonna get out of them. <laughs> and is this is this tower also glass? Yeah. Can from the outside is the heart in a cage visible? If you're looking from the um, outside, yeah, you you do from from the angle you're at. As long as you're like, we, as long as you've gotten like a little bit closer to where the archway was, you would have gotten past a few more buildings uh, that would have provided like obstructions with their furniture and all that. So um, you've you gotten close enough where you can indeed, without having to step into that area and through the archway you'd be able to see um it's a little fuzzy but you do see it is like just it's just this fleshy se seemingly living creature that's very much just like a humanoid heart um of massive proportions and with these tendrils growing out of it it's it looks wet it is uh, um there is a bit of a puddle of blood directly beneath it that is leaking out of the cage. Oh, oh. okay, okay, cool. Virian, nice. I'm uh -huh. forgetting. You you didn't see these things before, did you? No, no, no. Oh. This is new. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that that happens. Add it what? to the list. <laughs> <laughs> this this is up there. This is definitely up there. This is you at top of the list. This is top of the list. This no. is the strangest thing I've ever seen. No, I, I've been there. I sent one of these to Granny. She needed it last time. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. How how big is this? Is it like person size or like human heart person size? Sized. Well, like yeah, the, like, size. the okay, heart cool. is as big as a person would be. I had to cut oh. it up. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it gave us memories of past lives. Okay, you understand how this is worse, right? This is this is worse. I'm just explaining it to okay, you. Okay. Yes. I, okay. This. Would you rather yeah. not know? Yeah, okay, no, no. Um, I won't explain it to you next time. No, you'll it's, see it's, You'll see a big it, pair of lungs, you know and I won't tell you what's going on. <laughs> you know what? I would appreciate it if we are going to run into lungs, if you would tell me right now, actually. He stays quiet. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs runs a seal along his lips. <laughs> Pip, don't do that out. Okay, so, um, Pip, uh, check out. it seems that... We are not going to get help here. We do need to go to the other tower to find help. I'm gonna go see so the heart. We should go. We should get going Pip to the other tower. To the heart. We should get going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we should get going. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh. Ha. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're right, I should go. <laughs> and I won't be coming back. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I think so Tekka Pip will... So and the Virian are turning back? Or, you know... Yes. yes. Pretending to turn back. Okay. Uh, Tekka, the, the guard, has reached for your hand and he's, like, taking it. Mm -hmm. It's a very gentle and kind of cold grasp and hugs a little bit as uh, they ask you to uh, to leave. I think, uh, yeah, I think Tekka is like deliberately not gripping that hand at all because, he, again, he's very scared of his own strength at this point. Um... And it's going to, like, very slowly, like, take small steps. Um, like, still arguing uh, with the guards. 
Uh, I think he says, like, it is better to have no law than not enforce it. You are here to help, yet you do nothing. What is your purpose? I am here to guard. If you're here to guard the well-being of those living here, then why are you not helping them? And Tekka, like, points his hand. I keep danger locked away. Safekeeping is not only averting danger. Tekka, we need to get going. You heard them. Yeah, Tekka, we're leaving. <laughs> we are not done here. <laughs> Tekka, we, we are done here. Tekka, we are we are done here. Tekka, we're, we're we are we are done. <laughs> Hippie are not yeah. helping either. The, the, the great Wait, thing what? about this is Am that the guard, doesn't, what we're no. doing. The, the guard is no. The guard doesn't talk plurinan, so like you can. Yeah. <laughs> we are walking. We will not meet again. See? Uh, I, like, again, yeah, none yeah. of you understand what uh, Tekka is saying to them. <laughs> yes. But he's, but he's not moving. <laughs> True. The, the, uh, and yeah. Do you allow Tekka. to be taken to the um, the archway? Yeah. Taken to the okay. archway and then Tekka will And then will, the guard like, will let go of your hand. Mm -hmm. And Tekka will slowly help uh, this other Ezin uh, away from okay, the pick them up. now. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, they're okay. still just whispering to, to help them, but they just very easily pick them up. And the, what's the plan, party? I have a really important question. Okay. How thick are these glass walls? <laughs> they are as thick as most walls would be. Okay. Uh, so definitely thicker than like a, a, a pane of glass in a window would be. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, at least a foot thick, usually two. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, different plan. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so too thick to like cut through is what you're saying. They, they are building entire structures out of them, so yes. it doesn't. They no glass. Anything that you have passed thus far looks particularly fragile, Edible. or as fragile as mm -hmm. could be. Yeah. There would probably be sounds, I guess, if you tried hard enough to actually break through yes. glass like that. Yeah. <laughs> the entire castle collapses. Oh no. <laughs> <gasps> I hit the sweet spot. If you like, you ever broken tempered glass like a car windshield? <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just have to hit it in the right spot, and the whole thing comes down. <laughs> Wait, have you? Yes, actually. Um, <laughs> when I was working at a craft store, I bumped a floral display, and it hit it in the right spot, and it came. I broke like seventeen shelves. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it all comes down. Um, anyway. Um, as, as we're leaving, Viren just gets, like, super hush-hush, like, I need you to tell me everything about that heart thing. Is it potentially can, what can we do with it? What can, what is it? Everything you know. If, if our new friend here needs help in there, and they clearly are not, I, I don't know what you were talking about, but they didn't seem happy. I mean, none of them really s seem any emotions actually honestly you know what i might be able to get in there i can't get it out as easily unless i can run and just do a, a smash and grab while i'm inside all right so, so to elaborate on my answer earlier the glass bars were significantly thinner yes. compared to like walls of a building they were they were just bar sized mm -hmm. i suppose when we saw these hearts last time, it was in, it was, 
Do you know where we saw where we where we went to go see the dragons? On the moon? Yeah, when we were in that little little basement area. In before we went to the moon. Yes, under under Stilling Dread. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's where all the hearts were. They what they were mean? Yeah. And they what were fighting each all? other. What do you all of the hearts? There were a lot of them. Look, just bear with me here. I know it sounds weird to someone who hasn't seen the things that we've seen. But some of the hearts were good, and some of them were bad, and they were fighting each other. And they were coming out of coffins. With their little tentacles. <laughs> and if they, if they hit you, then they would share memories of the life that they had lived before. So if what uh, yeah okay okay yeah. I am I am I'm, I don't know if it's trigonometry or not I've never been good at math but if I'm putting the pieces together that if it's a heart yeah that has memories uh, as in friend here it needs help in there can't seem to speak do you think that is their heart? It's pretty big. I mean... <laughs> are all of our there's, hearts that big? There's clearly some sort of shenaniganery going on. Yeah. So I... I think Tekka has a heart that big. Aww. <laughs> Brooke, they too. Probably, they should Not probably get that book that. <laughs> okay. Uh, if... If there is merit to maybe causing a very large ruckus and going in there and retrieving it, I can do it. Probably. Those bars mm. look breakable. Well, we don't know if it's a good heart or a bad heart. We need to know that first. <laughs> we gotta we gotta let it touch us so that we know its memories. I let it touch you, Virian. I let the I think heart that, touch you. That was that was part of the plan. But now that you're saying it out loud, I'm rethinking the plan. <laughs> you don't want to put a bad heart in a body. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I. I think. I said. If. If we're going to do this, if we're doing this right now, I think we will have to leave immediately and probably not come back. Yeah, well, that's going to be a problem. Actually, I, actually maybe not. Um, Siberian stops and thinks for a little bit. I can disguise myself as an Essen. Actu actually, um, I, have never, I haven't gotten to use this yet, but oh, where's like, the most secluded spot? <laughs> Yes, that, I'll go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, as like any like solid object that kind of duck out of the way that isn't behind a glass wall. For, like, for cover? Yes. Just to kind um, of get out of line of sight of general population as much as possible. Something that isn't behind glass. Yeah, or at least like three, like one side that's not behind glass that can be like a wall at least or something. So, for example, if you were to lean up against a wall, where on the other side is like this big bookshelf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Something wouldn't like work. That. Yeah, it would because there that is would, buildings all around, and you can see yes. inside of them, and there's furniture. Yes, yeah, just things that are generally blocking line of sight. So something like that is perfect. Mm -hmm. There are there are a few buildings where, since you can see okay. inside, you would see that they're currently empty. Okay, so perfect. Um, so we'll duck into an alleyway between a couple buildings and Virian kind of grabs at her scarf where that um, crescent moon pendant is and she'll cast this guy's self as it, it an does the same thing right next to you yeah as an amalgamation <laughs> of like a bunch of the different as in like mask from here clothing from there just to look not like exactly any one but sort of like fit in 
Okay. Uh, okay. Mm, usually I would ask for like, um, uh, some kind of check, slide event, or even performance to see how, like, the disguise, um, how convincing it is. It's really not necessary here. You both look like any other, as in, um, there's, like, I don't recall if I mentioned this, but it do come in all sorts of, like, heights and sizes. So you did come across some that were significantly shorter than others. So even, even Pip's uh, disguise just really fits in. I like to think that Pip and Virian had the, the exact same idea at the exact same mm -hmm. time. I just sort of, like, <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> Yep. Okay, so... This at least might give us some deniability, maybe, afterwards. I can get in there. Easily. Getting out is going to be more difficult. But at the very least, not immediately recognizable. It says nothing. He's in character. <laughs> You're better at this than I am. <laughs> is I, this... Is this I what can, we want to be doing right now? I believe so. We should do something. When these refuse to do anything. Okay. Uh, Teka, what I think... You need to do right now is get our friend somewhere that we can get to easily. That isn't too far away from here, but is not well guarded. Because this... Listen, I know all about being a criminal, and we're about to do something that will get guards on us. They seemed very nice, but a lot of guards are until you start breaking laws. So somewhere we could hide somewhere to hide that we can meet up with you easily. I will start looking. Okay. We need to know where that is before we can do anything. Um, yep, since you can also you know, blend in a, mo a little bit more, um, if you can come with me, you need to make as much of a distraction with those guards as you can. I, I can get in behind them. I think I can break those bars. I can grab that heart, let it touch me, to get its memories as much as I really do not like this idea. You have to let it touch you. <laughs> it's the only way. It's creepier with the mask on. <laughs> I will let it touch me. And then we have to run. Because there's no way I can get out of there unseen, especially carrying a, a person-sized heart. Yeah, sounds good. So, well, um, how do you approach? Well, first things first is we need to find figure out our meeting point. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think what would be the best place to look for. Because you don't want it to be like next to a home where someone could just like show up as like, hey, who are these guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I don't know. What sort of ground are we walking on? Glass. Glass. Hmm. It's kind of pretty. You can faintly see your own reflection. And it's like deep? It goes like there's layers and layers of glass below us? Or? Um, no. When you're, when you're outside, uh, you would see this glass has been laid onto an otherwise stone surface. So it's perhaps... Mm -hmm. Uh, one to 
Well, we'll just be one foot deep. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any great ideas. If anyone comes up with anything, I'll happily take it. Dig a hole. In stone. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was dirt? Yes, I agree. In stone? A little trickier. <laughs> okay. Not even an armor blast you could do it. Mm. <laughs> um, second addendum to the plan. When you cast Polymorph, it doesn't have to be on a humanoid, does it? That I doubt this thing is a humanoid. It looks pretty not it humanoid. It does not have to be a humanoid. Okay. It's just... The, the only limit is the challenge rating. Yes, which if we want to change it into something very small isn't going to be a problem. As long as it's not a shape changer or a creature so, with zero hit points, I no, can so turn some, it into So something like like a mouse that I can put in a pocket. Mm -hmm. Probably not a mouse, though. They're really quick and slippery. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. But something that's less... I, I don't know. A snake. Uh, okay, Something I need something small that I can hold on to without hurting. That I can shove in a pocket without, or my backpack or something without hurting. Pocket tortoise. Pocket tortoise, fine. We can do a pocket tortoise. Um, since we can't really hide, I may just need to run and meet up with you again. You may just need to have to uh, trust me on this one. Is there like a place outside the city gates where no one really looks? Um... This, the, the castle? Yeah. W when you walked in, uh, the entrance of the castle faces the lake. There's a, just a small distance between before the lake begins. Uh, and there were people outside. You haven't really been on the sides or in the back. But it did look like the cave was so massive that there was further space around. Would you like us to perhaps take a break now and you can think about it? Yeah, that might be good. Yeah. Sure. Yes? Ten minutes? Ten minutes is good. Yeah. That's good. Ten minutes it is. Okay, then. I'll see you in just a little bit. What time is it right now? Uh, let's say at uh, 3.25. Yes. Love All that. right. Okay, then. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Have you decided, Do we have a plan? Have you decided whether you will point, you will paint the walls or drug the guards? <clears throat> oh, you heard about that. <laughs> yes, I was cracking up in the kitchen while pouring myself water. <laughs> I will not stop you from doing either of those things. You can't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Though. Right. Can we do like the Hall of Mirrors trick where it appears like we're multiple places <laughs> and then they try to run us? Actually, and... actually, we can. What? We got this guy's self. Uh huh. We can be multiple techas. <laughs> if we want oh. to. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we could. I can't use it infinitely though. Oh, that would be. <clears throat> that would be Thrika. <laughs> True. Rika. <laughs> so I can use it however much I want. Hmm. I have. I have major image. I can do one heck of a distraction with that. Mm -hmm. And I still have hawk bears. <laughs> they. They can do something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you wouldn't have them with you right now because you would have spent like a really long time looking for items in a tower. 
But yeah, you can just. Oh, them. yeah. Well, it's like, it's like an Ikea in there. Right now, you have two horses. We have horses. We can take the horses into the glass towers. I'm sure that <clears> will cause some havoc. We have a pangolin. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. We, uh, we have Squeak. I mean, Squeak can turn invisible and fly around and, like, I could give him thieves tools. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I should just go ahead and do that. I'm giving Squeak thieves tools. <laughs> the thieves tools got, are like as I big as I have two he sets is. of thieves tools, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> One are you of proficient with them? Special. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, the, the tools are almost as big as Squeak is, and you have to like tie them on his back if you want him to carry them around. <sighs> what can't we just like? Hide it he in has, his mech he suit. He has this, like, armor. Yeah, you can very easily just put them on his back. Stuff a lockpick in his mech suit. <laughs> <laughs> Not the inside. Just on it. Oh, no, 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 no. Being such like a magnet. A magnet. So is a diversion better than, like, a place to hide? Then? Or? We... As far as a place to hide, what we need is a place to meet back up. Yeah. Specifically. And the place, preferably, where we wouldn't be seen. Uh, or, yeah, or likely wouldn't be seen. Or at least... All right, well, this you know, affects our op options as far as what, glass, what Pip yeah. can do. Is, do you need the heart polymorphed? It would be helpful, but I don't need it. Okay, because I've only got one spell slot left. Yeah. That's Hashtag fine. warlocks. Yeah. We can take a take a breather first. Have a picnic. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> like if it's like person size, <clears throat> it might be awkward for Varian to carry it around, but she probably can. Right. Polymorphing it would be the less conspicuous yes. thing to do than just carrying a heart around through the city. Yes. Through the ta uh, the castle. I have to be within 60 feet to do it. That's not a problem. Can you cast so the spells plan through Squeak? Is, is that a thing for you? Only touch spells. Mm, got it. I can get within 60 feet of you. Not a problem. I, I hope not a problem. Or you can cast it first. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance it doesn't even work. I, I would assume a heart wouldn't be especially wise, but never know. Uh, we can... Do those hearts understand when you speak to them? Or no? They could not communicate with this last time other than through the, the visions that they could share. Okay. I can try to say, like, we're about to cast a spell to help you. Please do not resist. <laughs> 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 Better than nothing. Exactly. Congratulations, you are being rescued. <laughs> yeah, I don't really see a better option. It might be that. Uh, Let me draw something on the on our little board here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Archway. Would you like? Would you like to see? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'll give you. Oh, you have a thing. I have a thing. You made a. What? Got a battle map for this. <laughs> this does not bode well. <laughs> here you go. The the archway is here, so you guys came from this direction, like that. Okay. So. We can can we leave the arrows? 
help help me visualize. Mm -hmm. We're over here. Oh, you're far back here. Far back here. Oh, so it's a long hallway of an archway. There's the archway is here. There's there's just all the buildings on the side. Okay. Part in cage. We got a couple of guardies here, and you said three by the heart. Can I think I see, see their the little. Tokens? No, we. I don't see their models. <gasps> do y'all the, see their no. models? Also broken. No, I do not. I have. I see little. I see little bubbles. I see the, the, the bubbles. Yeah. Oh yeah. no! Oh, that's like that's I can a problem. see if my if my if my humanoids are starting to break, then we have an issue. Yeah. Uh uh. Yeah. yeah, I can see like a little gray dot where they are. That's a that's a problem. Here, if I take out like a random uh, gnome craftsman, can you guys see this? Yes. 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 Okay, so I guess that that particular model broke. I'll just get something. Replace out. them with gnome craftsmen. <laughs> if, I, I, if it <laughs> comes down confusing. to that, uh, I don't know, city guard. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. Good enough. Oh, I have to redo them. I'm sorry, I didn't know that this model broke. I wish it I like told the cage me. though. Cool cage. Thank you. I like had I handmade the glass. Wow. Ooh. Hand blowing. <laughs> <laughs> um So as far okay, as yeah. things that we could do, we could take a quick nap. Have a couple <laughs> of spell slots. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Make make a major image giant diversion over here. Maybe it's just like dead people, right? And then they're like, "Oh yeah. no, what's what's going on with that?" <laughs> and all of them go. You know, no one stays behind. Best case scenario. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna happen. Best case scenario, yeah, but very slippery. Virian gets in here. What's your what's your plan? So, I have that the shrouded wolf's blessing where I can teleport. I just have to be able to see the spot where I'm going. And these walls are made of glass. Oh, ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, that does yeah. help. <laughs> I picture us just like with uh dry erase markers drawing our game plan on the, on glass. the glass wall. <laughs> <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, what Virian's plan is, which is a fantastic plan, it has no flaws, uh -huh. is to poof teleport inside, break the glass cage, grab our heart friend, and run. Right, because yeah, you can't take right. someone with you with nope, a poof. Nope, just me. Yep, just me. W would that be the same case if it were in your pocket? That's up to the DM. It is being... It is being carried? Um, are you asking if you... What, what feature is, is this? The the Shrouded Wolf's Blessing the um, Shatter Kai. Uh, if it teleport. says that you can uh, teleport with other creatures, then it doesn't. The size doesn't matter. Mm. It, could you it doesn't the specify mouse? that you can bring them. <laughs> I, could, I could eat it. <laughs> Catch. Okay. Uh, what um, It doesn't specify that I can't bring anyone, but it also doesn't say that I can, so no. Yeah. Like, Virian is in her comp is confident in her ability to dodge these guys. How far can you teleport? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet, that's not very far. It's not very far, but... 
That's, yeah, that's really not very far on this map. Like, if we were here looking through this wall, you could get there. Yeah. And then run over, smack, bust that boy out. And yep. then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then what? <laughs> then grab him and run is the plan. Hence why polymorph would be really helpful. <laughs> and you're disguised as an as an as an as an. As an. <laughs> Seems flawless. Yeah, all right. Everyone else will see us here, though. <laughs> <laughs> like it works both ways. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, hence why that why she wants a distraction. <clears throat> okay. She's still rogue. Like, she just has to get there herself. Hmm. Any, any thoughts, Sid? Ah, uh, it, it's so true. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the right distraction would be. Yeah, this is a very risky maneuver. Uh, I and do agree. In addition for what? to the three of you, <laughs> in addition to the three uh, of you, you uh, do have Brooke and Sunny and two horses. I'm not saying that the, to... the horses oh, right. have to be part of the plan. Just that, remember, there's more than just the three of you, I guess. I'm still yeah. trying to figure out why we're doing this. Because <laughs> oh, someone asked Tekka. you for help. Someone else is for help. You know, Tekka is on board and. Virian sees an opportunity to do a heist. <laughs> <laughs> but are we even sure that this is what he needs? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to kidnap a random heart and we're going to bring it to him and it'll be like, help me. <laughs> we'll be like, oh, you want this? He's like, what? No. <laughs> Listen, he keeps clutching his want chest. This? He That's says, true. help me. Points to this building, clutches his chest. All That's signs point to hearts. You're right. That's a good point. I'm doing trigonometry over here. <laughs> <laughs> he does keep. They, they take their hearts out and then they ship them off to Stilling Dread <laughs> for some Shut reason. The <laughs> <laughs> <To> fight. It's <laughs> a heart fighting room. <laughs> this factory is very weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take Ladarians, take their hearts out, the body, the soulless husks become doctors, and the hearts become soldiers in underground dungeons. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a reason that they don't do tours. It probably doesn't do tours. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm with this plan. Uh, but I guess what is the distraction? Is that just like the whole crew holding the guards off while Virian get, gets out of here? Or well, we, what is I it? don't think we want to be seen, right? Because we still have stuff to do here. Yeah. <laughs> like, we right. have, to, we have to go to the big tower and get the staff. And if they're like, um, you caused a lot of trouble. Why would we give you the <laughs> yeah. staff? So that right. is the other caveat, I because I already did think of that, is... We have to be sure we want to do this now because there's a chance that we can't do anything else here after we do this. Right. Yep. And we also don't know what happens if we don't help this as in right now. Yeah. We're in a bad state. And I don't know if that's like a permanent thing or... <laughs> Will he die if we turn this heart into a turtle? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> if the heart dies, does the Ezen die? Is that why the Saved happens? Did you guys actually kill all those Ezens by killing their hearts? Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> if the heart dies, the Ezen dies? Was there like a whole like <laughs> chamber here just full of like their heart phylacteries? <laughs> 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 uh. 
for we're basing busting your... this campaign yeah. wide open, I'm sure. <laughs> I am busting something open today. Should I put this away and bring back the conspiracy board? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so let's at least uh, figure out the decision here. Are we going to visit the leader first, or are we doing this first? Because the consequences of doing this first, as you said, might not have the option to do other things. Yes. Yeah, but we could go and do the other thing while they're still trying to come after us. They're slow. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so I to run them? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was Virian's plan, was just to run faster than them. <laughs> okay. You're like, no, stop. We're gonna oh, yeah. get you. <laughs> Moving ten feet per round. <laughs> and dashing. Uh, dashing. <laughs> jokes on you, I can dash twice. Whoa. <laughs> um Okay, so if that's the plan, we still have no clue where Jamil's staff is. So how long are we gonna Jamil's keep running? Staff <laughs> is probably in the big tower with the, the leader person. Right, okay. Yisca, so we're going to do Yiskasek. two heists. Yiskasek. It's a two-part heist. Then. Yeah, it's a okay. two-part heist. Oh. One we're doing for no reason, and the other one we're doing on an object we don't know Yo. where it is. Okay, this is a terrible decision, but <laughs> here's what we do. Y'all go to the leader. And if oh. you guys need a distraction, I know how to make Are a really big distraction. The party? <laughs> it's a terrible idea. But if you guys need a distraction to heist in the main mm. castle, I can make a distraction to heist in the main castle and it involves stealing a heart. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this I, feels well, like this an Ocean's like... Eleven type yeah. move. Just everyone doing their part. Yeah. yeah. That, that's like a plan C situation, but it is a possibility if we just want to just smash and grab everything. <laughs> I mean, like... Yeah, the montage of that seems really fun. I do like that. Just like switching between um, yeah, the different yeah. parts. The different yeah, we'll put a pin in it. That would be really fun for our DM, I'm sure. Yes. De Dennis, please, I know you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. In um, my defense, we've been left unsupervised. So, <laughs> here's here's my concern. Oh. Yeah. Comes Is back that like, just the one? What did you do? <laughs> every, every, every problem, every bad thing we've ever done in this campaign is because we rushed into doing something that we did not understand the, why the consequences or anything. Fair point. Yeah. I feel like we're going to like kidnap this heart, and they'll be like, "You stolen the heart of all Ezin." <laughs> I would like well, to reiterate that the reason guys. is. <laughs> I would like to reiterate that the reason Virian is here is because of her, her poor decision making skills. So. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So... Can we just? Yeah. Ah, ah, I feel like this. I feel like this is time sensitive, though. Like, like this Ezen might just die if we don't help him right yeah, now. Yeah, that's that's my worry, and I feel like we are in this moment, so we just just go with that. But it's also like we don't know why either, and no. I know that's the challenge. Like, I know that's the point, <laughs> Winther. <laughs> we have to make a decision without knowing. But, like, what do we do when we give him the heart? How is that going to help him? We can ask him what happened. Maybe. What if we give him this heart and it makes him normal? What is normal? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna, like, stitch this heart, like, onto him? What if, like, it's like the, like, in, like Kingdom Hearts, you just have to, like, touch fingers or something? Yeah, yeah. Game. It's just a big hug, and they reunite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said the other... other option, which is... would be nice with Polymorph, is... Virian can do this air quote solo. Nobody else is seen. And she does the rogue thing and tries to make herself scarce really quick. And then meet up with y'all. 
All right. And she would so, also be disguised. And also be disguised. So Pip can be... Pip can be here with you because he also looks like an Ezin. And he can be ready to see when you've taken the heart to polymorph it because I think polymorph only requires sight too. Let me check just to make sure. Yeah, a creature I can see within range. And it's well within range. So the game plan. Mm -hmm. You're here. You huh. go in. You break the glass cage. Which is definitely just glass and not reinforced by magic whatsoever. Yeah, if I don't get the DM ideas. <laughs> Pip is here. I mean, you you I'll, grab I'll the heart. Break. Yeah. Depending on how far apart those bars are, if you turn it to something small enough, true, I might be able true. Just to grab just it. Just grab it. Uh, you grab the heart. Grab the heart. It's polymorphed into a, 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 a little turtle. Little tortoise friend. Something you, very easy to grab and it can't run away fast enough. You yes. zoom As in speed. out this way or pole vault over the wall or what? I, I don't think the wall is pole vaultable. I feel like, is there a ceiling? Um, no, this is a building with a ceiling. This part here is open. Uh, so it's there's... like, it's, it's this house's courtyard, essentially. Uh, so okay. like, to get in, you have to get okay. over the wall. Or so how high the is house. this wall? Uh, 10 feet. You could jump that. Oh, yeah, I could jump that. Or at the very least, you could throw the turtle over and Pip can catch it. <laughs> I so I have never thrown a turtle in my life. I would imagine <laughs> it has a potential to be deadly. Not that I've tested it. Oh, but if it's caught, it's fine. Just have to really rely on Pip's catching abilities. I okay. It's, it's a glass wall, so it makes it a little more difficult. But it is it like, really smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Like he wouldn't be able to climb over unless you have something to climb onto first, and then you can grab the top. What mm. if I go? What if I go need a staff and pull? Them? <laughs> I, need, I need one now. <laughs> now I need a staff. There, there were stools and step ladders in the tower. <laughs> Did you go over here. Polymorph the heart. Grab the heart. Grab the turtle. Throw it over. Pip catches it. Then you run away. As Pip takes it to Tekka. I mean, if if you catch it, I can just bam to the other side of the wall. True. True, 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 true. Oh, that's so much faster. And then they're <laughs> slow. They're like, no. <laughs> no. I, I feel no. like these things are going to be fast no. when they want to. No. <laughs> And then by the time they've gotten to like here, <laughs> we've already gotten the heart to the Ezen. Or and then and then we see why all of it was a bad idea all along. <laughs> Good plan? Great no, plan. Let's do, let's do it. That's Wait, our where's plan. Where's Tekka during this? <laughs> With the horses. Well, I, I gotta be the... hiding. Right, because like can be okay. see being evolved in this heist. Like you, you'd be far from this, then like somewhere isolated behind some buildings. Yeah, Tech has seen it's all ruined. <laughs> then they're like, "Oh, the newcomers did yeah. it." I Not mean, there might be suspicious that anyway. Rogue but we, at least, we we at least have plausible <laughs> deniability because nobody saw us there. Yeah, yeah. When it happened, they saw us there earlier. I think I vaguely heard that, like. Some conversations about spell slots. Do you do you take a short rest before you do this, or do you go in? Do we want a distraction? I mean, it seems because so... both things are concentration. So as soon as I cast ah. power, the distraction goes away anyway. <laughs> right. So then maybe not. Do you want Tekka? Unless to Squeak is the distraction, or Tekka even. But how would Tekka do it without being seen? Uh, Tekka is pretty strong, so you could like start breaking glass some distance away, and the noise would be like, "Hey, who's breaking all that glass?" And then <laughs> Tekka would run away. I don't, true, I don't know. true. That's something. 
It's not great, but it's something. <laughs> it is also involves yes. like breaking people's homes, and that's not great. But we'll just know. break the this wall. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Could just, could just break walls. I, I don't think breaking walls is really an option because this glass is very thick. Yeah, this but is very so thick. is Tekka. <laughs> Tekka is, has gotten very thick recently. <laughs> <laughs> this this oh, would I, definitely feel like Tekka something that would not be possible to you, Tekka. crushed a magic item into dust. <laughs> <laughs> this, this feels like something that you would not be possible to you normally. Like, it would not have been possible before. Now? Maybe. Maybe let's find out. <laughs> it's time. Okay. Yeah, so I guess Tekka will be, like, on the other side of this plaza then, maybe? And, like, causing a bunch of noise and destruction as a distraction? Here's okay. what you should do. Go go find some more Ezengards and ask to speak to the manager. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then cause a whole scene and it's like, yeah. I, will, I will start breaking things until I see your manager. <laughs> <laughs> This is a terrible idea. I'm so excited. So yeah, it's, it's... This is the most D and D idea <laughs> I've had in a year. All right. I would just okay. like to so first... iterate that. Yeah. The deeper we got into this plan, like the more excited Virian has been getting. And she, is, <laughs> she is alive. Right now. Like she is. Crimes. <laughs> yes. Crimes. Like, it's been like a hundred years since I've done something like this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so first, getting into your spotted courtyards. Um, what are you doing? Climbing over one of the walls from, like, the back? Yes. Okay, um, so, how? Especially well, for Vivian Biku, who's kind of small. pop through. Yeah, uh, I like to save one if I can. I only get to do that three times a day. Oh, oh, it's a... I see. Yeah, yes, yep. Can't do it forever. Uh, um, do these homes have locks? <laughs> like, are these... Also, are they occupied? Yeah, are they occupied? Do we see anyone inside? This one is empty. This one has one as an inside. Okay, Pip just goes through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when when Pip tries the door, it is unlocked. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right through. We're just gonna, we look like Ezins. We're just acting casual. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, Pip uh, also gave uh, some of his hair to Tekka so that, so that <laughs> he can communicate with him. Through long I know distances. what you mean, but it never stops being funny. That's <laughs> a <laughs> You know. <clears throat> it's a little memento. Mm -hmm. And we're just, you know, standing here having a casual chat. When <laughs> when Pip says in tech is mine, do it now. Do it now. <laughs> You're having a casual chat in Plurinen. <laughs> no, we're just like being like Sims. Just yeah. Epa's not bizarre, but dude. <laughs> Virian is just like nodding. Just every once in a while we'll just nod, not even talking, because you know what? That's the vibe. No one's All right. talking. Performance checks from both of you. Uh Tech, how are you getting into this courtyard? Um yeah, so is there no way for Tekka to like walk around? Natural twenty. Oh it is, <laughs> it is fully walled off by glass. There's gotcha. also and as any near, they would notice if there was someone in their courtyard. Okay. Pip knows his Ezin. Uh huh. His best friend was an Ezin. <laughs> Pip does know like a bunch of sentences. Like Ezin is something that slowly over time you've been picking up. Uh, back to Tekka though. Uh, yeah. What I think Tekka does. Um... Is he he's like wearing his blanket around him and he's uh, wearing that uh, mask that he got from the Atarva tribe. Uh, the the parrot one. Yeah, the parrot one. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and then he's gonna like slowly approach from this side and try to be a little stealthy, hoping no one notices, like mm -hmm. around this area. Uh, you climbing over the wall? Not climbing over the wall, no. How do you uh, get in? Well, can Tekka not just be here? Is this not a... There's it's another wall over here. walled off. Like, the, oh, this, okay. a, this is a courtyard, so it extends uh, around. Gotcha. Yeah, then Tekka would be climbing that up, then. Yeah. Okay. 
how? Because we were talking about how it's like a smooth surface. Uh, that you can't really well, grab onto. And there isn't hat. anything nearby that you can step onto. Let's see, there was something. Uh... Yeah, I think what Tega does is that he has... Uh, he has rope, so I think he's going to use uh, like the hammer bar to like hook it on, on the wall, on the top of the wall, uh, and then climb the rope. The hammer bar. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he has the I hammer bar attachment. Work. Yeah, guess it work, like the hook part of the hammer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're playing okay. getting over it. <laughs> <laughs> Good, fair point. Okay, just just roll a quick acrobatic, acrobatics check and s okay. see how, if you can like hook it onto the pretty smooth wall surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Um, are you trying to not be seen by the as in within the building? Let, let me let me make a mini. There we go. Ah. Uh yeah, if possible. Like, I imagine it's like a stealth game, like, where you look where the vision cone is, essentially, <laughs> like, where the guard is looking, and at mm. the opportune time, trying to... Yeah, you're, you're watching what they're doing and waiting for a moment when they seem to be busy with the, their back turned towards you. Mm -hmm. uh, make that a stealth check. Uh, because there is, let's see, one, two, three, four, there's four walls in between you, so um, the, the two groups would be able to, like, not see each other very clearly, but you'd be able to kind of see vaguely the shapes. You'd be able to see the, the, the yellow of Teka's, of Teka's shirt, the, uh, the white of Varian's cloak, so you'd kind of be able to tell w uh, where you are in relation to one another. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, if I remember correctly, Pip can communicate with Teka, but not the other way around? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Quiet as a mouse, you wait a, a short while. Uh, the as in within the building appears to be cooking dinner. Uh, and so they are in the kitchen part uh, of their house. And uh, um, with with the way it is arranged, they are mainly looking away from you, except when every once in a while they move over to grab something. When it seems like they're at their most busy, you hop into the courtyard and you get into position. This is ridiculous. Yep, I sure it. is. <laughs> and no one's here to stop us. Nope. Green <laughs> is a bad influence. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can say like Brooke and Sunny are are staying with the Ezen just to mm -hmm. any horses. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. the main yeah. point, yeah. which is like further back. We ready? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Pip Pips tells Tekka. It's time. <laughs> you would see that uh, um, the guards, like, have noticed the two of you talking here. They don't seem to be, like, keeping an eye on you. They just saw you and they're mm -hmm. just they're there guarding. It, they don't seem to think that anything is out of the ordinary. They don't seem to. So, yeah, are performing it's... well. Yes. Like, as soon as... Yep. Marion, why are you like... almost dead? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think I ever... Oh god. I don't think I ever long... <laughs> Maybe I did long rest, I don't know. I should be fine, right? Yeah, you haven't, you haven't had any fights today. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I was just zoomed out too far and didn't see where I was at. There we go. So, like, as soon as it gives any indication that we are ready to go, this is like, so hmm. stupid. <laughs> Point of no return. Enjoy. <laughs> and we'll just bamf the other side of the wall. She just sort of like looks for a minute, like she's going to walk or like dive into the wall and just doesn't. Just disappears and reappears. <clears throat> Okay. You're also kind of like Tekka waiting for a moment when it feels like they're 
the guards are not really looking you away. Yeah. It, 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 every once in a while, they're turning around. The, um, and like also attempting to like land softly and then move up to the cage slowly. So th th just go ahead and roll a stealth check. I think Pip would have been ready to polymorph right when she did that too. When she teleports right. or when she, when teleports. she gets to the cage. Okay. Uh, Almost. Oh, the guards like are completely like, not looking. Like I can sneaky sneaky. Like maybe it like wait, all depends. Away so yeah. they they are looking away from the cage. They're turning around every once in a while. They're they're responding to like any any small noises that might happen all around. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm curious to see if Viren, like lands completely softly at a moment when like she manages to to do this when the guards are all looking away from the cage and it's also mm -hmm. like her moving up to the cage. Alright, so stealth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my inspiration on that one. Okay. Is that not? Oh, okay. Plus six. Sixteen plus six, yep. So twenty-two. Are you seriously gonna get away with it just because you all roll <laughs> well? <laughs> <laughs> These have all been very good rolls, okay. Uh what do I have? What is their perception? Aha! I did have this side block open. Did you say twenty-two? Twenty-two, sixteen plus six. Okay. You like appear here. <laughs> um, up until... God. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm trying to think about verbal components. Polymorph does have verbal components, right? Uh, it... It does. I could say it quietly behind no, glass, it's I more, think. It's more that... <laughs> that you... Okay, so spell verbal components do come out of your mouth. It's like the only thing that doesn't come out of squeak. Yes. Um, and it's always being kind of ambiguous how loud you have to be when you cast a spell. So I'm going to also leave that to a stealth rule. Okay. <clears throat> you can like go out of your way to, to cover your mouth uh, under your hand, under your scarf, uh, um just make it as quiet as possible there is a wall in between you but not the ceiling yeah and yeah. Uh, you Sounds were fair. just talking to the your fellow Ezen over here i will so use I... conspiration one or two good call i will use the first one <laughs> okay start from the oldest one before it expires <laughs> okay that's an 18 it's a plus six okay gimme 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 <laughs> I'm moving too slowly. As in speed. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I take... Someone mine else rolled uh, an inspiration. You should take mine. Didn't... This one over oh, okay. Here. I didn't take it. I was like, I'm you missing also didn't one. Take, mine. take all what? of us. Oh my god. You didn't take Which mine one? Either. Yeah. The one that's on the... <laughs> the last one. I'm, I'm not collecting my tax. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the campaign, she's going to reveal that she'll use all of these against us. <laughs> <laughs> I have 62 thus far. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Yeah, well, it's about one per session, and we are at 65, and under these occasional, like, birthday one. Phew. Special occasion. Okay. I forgot the result of your roll. 18. 18. 18 for my infernal... Demon speak spell casting. Incredible. So the only person who rolled higher than an 18 under perception is this guard. So Virin appears here completely without a noise, begins to step up to the cage, um, and Pip says something in a slightly louder volume than he, he has been speaking with while interacting with this Ezen. The guard turns around right as Virin is like up here. <laughs> just beyond his line of sight and he doesn't particularly seem to think that it's weird uh, it's also 
Well, uh, you don't need to know that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're up to the cage, and uh, the heart must is make gone. a wisdom saving throw. Oh, right. Oh. There's a saving throw. <laughs> I hey, shouldn't have said anything. Talking... No, 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 no. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot it's, uh, it's a resisted. Um, you guys mentioned just speaking to the heart. Is that something that you want to do? Yes. Just real low whisper of, if you understand me, we're trying to help you. Don't resist the spell. Um, do you touch it before or after the polymorph? I say I think she would go before because Pip did say she needs to let it touch her. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Then... I also need to be going to roll a wisdom saving throw. If you want, yes. you can just choose to fail it. You know what? I, I need to add to my rotation yeah. some kind of like mission impossible kind yeah. of music. Yeah, this, this music is way too chill. Way too chill indeed. Yeah, I I think she would fail it because Pip said she needs to let it touch her so she you can must. see its memories. You have to. She'll listen <clears throat> to the child. This, I'll just keep the quietness for a moment. Okay. When you get up here, you whisper to the heart and uh, you stick your hand in between the glass bars. Um, the, uh, does Vera wear gloves? Yeah, she does. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so there isn't, because you're wearing gloves, you don't really feel the tentacle, but you can, you can imagine how slimy it must be. Uh, it does stain your gloves a little bit. And, uh, for a moment, uh, there is nothing. And then you just you lose yourself. The entire area is gone, and you're you're elsewhere in a town that you don't know, but then you you suddenly do, and you're running completely just oblivious to what you were doing a moment ago. You're in the middle of something completely different, just running as fast as you can, and you look behind you, and there is a small armed crowd chasing you, but you are fast. Your light, each of your steps just catapults you dozens of feet forward. Uh, with you clinging to your shoulder is your companion, your moth. Uh, she can't fly as fast as you can run, so she she's just holding on for dear life. Um, wings are just held really close to her body, and her little head just uh, bent forward. Uh, you reach a dead end, a wall directly in front of you, and walls to, to, the, to your size, and you look back and the, um, the, the people chasing you are about to get to you, but you take another step forward, not exactly into the wall that's ahead of you, but into a different realm. You step into the world of dreams, where the wall is no obstacle to you, and you keep running. And moments later, you leap back into the waking world. And then whenever there's an ob another obstacle, in, out, in, out, and you quickly, easily lose your pursuers. And finally you stop and you catch your breath and you're looking down at this pouch that you're just, uh, you're clutching in your hands and holding it up against your chest. And that's when you come up with an idea. And vision fades, and you're almost slumped onto the cage. You're no longer making physical contact with this heart, but there is a turtle at the base of the cage. <laughs> um, <laughs> while all that was going on, Tekka, uh huh, 
What were you doing? Uh, yeah. So uh, Tega got a word from Pip and then is going to do this. Uh, Tega steps up to the wall. Uh, he is wearing his iron pod like a giant uh, uh, boxing glove, essentially. Like one of his fists is inside the iron pod. And he's just going to slam that against the wall. And then uh, I have three options here. So the mask of the parrot can replicate any noise that Tekka has heard. There's, there's three that come to mind. I want to hear what you think. Uh, one oh. is the wailing from these hearts that we have heard before. Oh. Two is the shot from a gnome's rifle. Or three oh. is the roar of a dragon. Which oh, is Which they're all so the good. <laughs> or should I just roll for, for our D6 and see what we get? <laughs> I don't. I can't pick for you. Okay. Well, oh, I, roll, I roll a d6 then. Oh, uh, one, two is heart. Three, four is rifle. Five, six is dragon. And that is pew, pew. a gnome's rifle. Yeah. Okay. So Tekka slams the pot against this glass wall and then. Uh, emitting loudly from this mask is reverberating sound of a rifle firing. Like the crackling of a thunderstrike, which down here should be impossible. The sound, you have no doubt, has been heard throughout the entire building. Um, it's... that's... That's a noise that brings you back to the present, Virion. Uh, you're catching your breath and trying to, to stumble back onto your feet. Not entirely sure what just happened. Um, but you're, you feel like yourself again, uh, just a little bit out of breath as if you were actually running. Uh, the heart is gone, replaced by a turtle, and your ears are ringing a little bit, especially your right ear. Uh, every single guard in this area has turned to look to the right which would include this one mm -hmm. um so in this in this moment oh, 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 what do you all do go wide <laughs> grab, grab the turtle <laughs> second of plan grab the turtle and run <laughs> you stick your arm through the bars easy enough there's there spread uh, apart enough where you can both put your hand in and pull the small turtle out. Uh, you don't understand as unfair. There is first shouting, mainly from the people up ahead in the uh, in direction of where Tekka is. Um, but you also you don't really make eye contact with this person because you're you're just grabbing a turtle and turning around and running, but you do see, like, in your, in your field of vision that uh, this person is... Uh, most certainly seeing you. Oh, yeah. Can't self out of this one. So I think we're going to uh, grab the turtle and run to about there. Mm -hmm. Chuck the turtle over the wall. <laughs> There's a few seconds where this guy doesn't really do or say anything. Just the Moments of confusion of noticing that the heart is just gone. There's someone else here and the heart is gone and there isn't really any obvious immediate explanation that this person can come up with. And then you hear the, the, the shouting in Ezenfair, you toss the turtle. Um, both of you roll an, an acrobatics check. Is acrobatics for throwing or is it athletics? I'm mm here. -hmm. Go with acrobatics. Feels more like you're you're aiming. It's not really about the strength. You can you can toss someone this far. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah, you That's aim good. reasonably well, and Pip, you catch the turtle. Yes. <laughs> Pip says to the turtle in turtle speak. It's okay, buddy. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> and just just starts running away. Yeah. But yeah, Viren will. Back to the side of the wall. 
Taika, you get to see the absolute confusion that unfold that uh, that unfolds in front of you as some people are coming towards you, turning back, looking back, and the the heart for, you can see from you know, the heart is gone. Uh, you're you can see the vague shape of your companions, the uh, blurred through the many glass walls, uh, retreating as by the plan, um, and these guards beginning to like move towards the archway. Um, most of you, for the first time, seeing uh, a bunch of Ezen actually running. And hey, they can run! No! And, like, normal speed! <laughs> well, our plan! Taika, what do you do? Uh, even uh, the person yeah. that was in the kitchen has, like, you know, been... Uh, their attention has been attracted by the, the sound of the gun. Yeah. Uh, but this Tekka turns around and uses the iron pods like a battering ram. Is going to, like, try to, yeah, crush part of this wall to try to escape that way. Okay. Roll an athletics check. Mm-hmm. That's athletics. Oh, uh, I need to add plus nine to that. Uh, I'm going to use inspiration. Plus nine? Holy yep. crap. <laughs> Just a far away plus <laughs> nice, nine! Nice, uh... 28. 28. <laughs> oh. Tekka, you achieve a feat that normally would have been impossible for you and would have been impossible for most people. You doubt that even Brooke, with uh, uh, the strength of uh, his new belt, would have been able to crush this wall the way you do. Perhaps you do like a bit too good of a job. Anyone could easily follow you through. Uh, the the just this whole section of the wall is gone. That too makes it sound uh, very similar to the to the uh, to the gunshot that you have just mimicked. Um, pieces of glass flying everywhere, and your arm doesn't hurt in the slightest. You take off. Yeah. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just make a plan that went well? Yes. <laughs> In D and D. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> it involved turning your heart into a turtle. Because why not? Yeah. Somewhere, if if Dennis was here at this <laughs> moment, uh, um. I I would be telling I would be telling Dallas uh, Den- Dallas <laughs> I would be <laughs> telling Dennis I would be telling Brooke that uh, um, kind of out of nowhere the as in, in the company of uh, Sunny and Brooke would gasp and clutch at their chest a little bit tighter and their breathing becoming heavier very raspy. Uh, they they begin to like slide down against the wall that they were leaning uh, to, against uh, until they're down in a sitting position. Uh, both Brooke and Sunny uh, approaching to 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 assist to figure out what's wrong. Um, um, perhaps a minute, a minute and a half later, Virion and Pip arrive at the meeting spot. Turtle. In in Pip's chest. Um, Does the turtle seem in distress on the way? <laughs> yeah, did the turtle respond to Pip's uh, conversation? No. Um, sorry, in order. Yes and no. The <laughs> turtle was like attempted to break free from Virion's grasp and then from Pips for like the first maybe 10 to 20 seconds and then just stopped moving much. Oh just no. <laughs> a little limp. <laughs> okay. So we get there. Mhm. Are they dead? <laughs> The the, the Ezen is breathing, the turtle isn't doing that much. But obviously something is wrong, like, worse than it was before. Put the turtle on them and drop all more? Yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, roll, roll a quick perception check, the two of you. Uh, Tekka, you're arriving here, like, moments later. Mm-hmm.
Sort of hard equal bad. <laughs> okay. Um, since you're not the one holding the turtle, Viren, you're uh, trying to focus on your surroundings and making sure that you haven't been followed. Uh, the fact that you uh, you teleported through a wall did mean that you easily broke line of sight with the guards quickly enough, uh, since you were able to take a very different path that they had to to follow you. Um, and so when you finally reach this point and you look back, you're paying close attention to your surroundings. It doesn't look like anyone has followed you here, at least yet. The coast is currently clear. And then like you hear far away footsteps and you recognize them. Tekka shows up seconds later. Is it working? Marion, was it a good heart or a bad heart? Um, good, good, I think it was. Um, I, I will explain later. Uh, I, our friend is, is not looking great, worse than usual. Um, I think it was good. I think it was good. Okay. It puts the turtle down and back to a heart. <laughs> okay. When the heart reappears, uh, instead of standing on its uh, tendrils, it slumps over a little bit. Um, it's it's leaning towards one side, much like the Ezen was when trying to stand up and talk to you. You see, the Ezen's eyes just widen a little bit at the appearance of this giant tentacled heart in front of them. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Sorry, turn your heart into a turtle. I, I'm sure they have a card for that. <laughs> Somewhere in the, in the card section. <laughs> for a moment, everything is still. And then the... When the, the essence begins to raise one hand, uh, the one that isn't holding onto their chest, and... Mimicking the movement, uh, the heart raises one of its tendrils, mirroring exactly uh, what they're doing. And they both reach towards one another. The tendril touches the hand and then begins to slowly wrap around the arm, higher and higher, up to the shoulder. The heart kind of drags itself forward and in doing so is pulling the essence a little bit towards it. The You can see the essence expression uh, behind the mask, but at least the body language, perhaps because this is what's meant to happen, or perhaps because the essence is in too much pain to uh, fight against it, but there isn't really any resistance. And one of the tendrils of the heart pushes past the clothes of the Ezen at the chest height, uh, down like up in front of the neck and down towards uh, where the heart of this person should be. And you see it begin to shrink and shrink and then slip into their clothes. The Ezen begins to cough and their breathing first becomes heavier and they gasp in pain but then they their breathing begins to slow down and the the gasps of pain become gasps of shock and excitement they stand up and they laugh a little bit it's it's a it's a difficult laugh, like it comes out of them, but they're still in in a lot of pain. Uh, but it is a happy one. They pull themselves up, uh, still leaning against the wall a little bit, uh, and as they're still laughing, they 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 turn to face you, and in Plurnan and and in this much more energetic voice, they they say he says, I, "I'm alive. It worked." It worked! He oh, begins to... Keep, keep your voice down. 
he he immediately just begins to pull the mask off of his face and the heavy robes from their body and there's two people covers his eyes <laughs> they, still have clo- they still have clothes beneath. <laughs> it's just like the heavy, baggy ones that they have like on top of everything. Um, and there's two people that recognize this person in your group. Um, not from the face, but from the arms. The arms that are, they have these beautiful, colorful patterns on them, almost like tattoos. Two of you have seen these particular sets of uh, um, colors on, their, on this person's skin before. And that's Virion, who just saw this person's arms uh, in that vision. And Squeak, who saw that same vision many, many weeks ago. Yeah. This um, man is uh, an Etara, the... Uh, and Etara do much like, uh, <clears throat> much like Nui was, and he he still laughs a little bit. The laughter becoming more and more natural, but also he's trying to keep it down. Now that Viren warned him, he seems to struggle with it, but he he has certainly regained that energy that vital- vitality was missing earlier. Uh, still chuckles to himself, keeps looking at you guys, and says, "You saved me! You saved me twice!" Oh yes, it worked. It worked. And then, uh, yeah. How how is this possible? You were beneath stilling dread. Part of me, just um, the removed part. But you you, you brought uh, my heart back to my body. I, I know, it's crazy. I can hardly believe that it worked, but it did. And hey, look, I'm speaking Plurnan. Huh? Plurnan. That's a funny word. <laughs> okay. Well, I, th- I think we all have many questions. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. Let's start with... Uh, um, actually, you know but what? Before introductions, maybe we should get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, let's, we should take a, a walk and... Um... I think Viren drops the sky itself now that we don't have to be hiding. It keeps it just in case. Yeah. (laughs) Act casual. And we're just going to take a nice walk outside of the castle. Maybe go see that lake. Right? Yeah, follow me. I know a couple of shortcuts. Oh, good. I feel great. Um, the man, uh, he has this, these, uh, um, this very light brown hair, um, about uh, shoulder length. Um, he's pretty thin, uh, not particularly tall, but he, he, he looks in, in reasonably good shape. Um, and, oof, um... Oh, how do I? No, that's fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, and he looks, but perhaps maybe in his uh, early thirties or so. Um, he, b- as he begins to briskly walk away from the place where you just uh, uh, freed the heart, uh, um, he does this petting motion over his shoulder, just seemingly touching nothing. Uh, and he he says, and this and this would be in Itaran. Um, oh wait, right. He says something in Itaran. <laughs> <laughs> um, that just again in that happy, delighted tone, and yeah, he briskly begins to to move away. And uh, as he does, he says, "Okay, so my name is Noah." And I owe you my life. And I am going to make you the richest people on the continent. Yes! Nice! <laughs> and that's where we'll end the really session. I really money! <laughs> <laughs> Any relation to Nui? <laughs> <laughs> no? No what? No one. No. No one. Sorry. Not 
Not familiar. Oh, you're talking to still. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were asking. I was asking Winther. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> the session was over. I thought, yeah. But this I, conversation I, I, transcends yeah. this session. <laughs> so I thought you were continuing, so I was like, okay, well. <laughs> I'm continuing this session against your will. <laughs> it's a hostage situation now. <laughs> wow. Bye, Turtle. You did it. Bye, Turtle. Bye, Turtle. I can't believe that works. I can't <laughs> believe Flawlessly. <laughs> I mean, okay, we'll see flawlessly or not when we try to go we back were in. Caught ish. It <laughs> wasn't a. Two as in were caught. It wasn't an unnoticed heist. Yeah. Tekka was seen, but Tekka was also yeah. masked. Mm -hmm. We just have to get yeah. Tekka a change of clothes. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was robed. He was wearing the black. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. He's wearing black. No hair. one will make any connection. From the strange newcomers <laughs> coming in to nope. Nope. the heart disappearing. Especially not the strange newcomers who went and just made demands to go see the heart. <laughs> and they wanted it. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Yeah. Fine. Surely. I said, They're uh, basically zombies anyway. They won't think yeah. anything of it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Wow, the hard thing happened on session 43, that was 22 sessions ago? Yeah. I How did it get here? <laughs> mm? I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. How and why is it here now? <laughs> And why were, was it over there in the first place? <laughs> Great question. Uh, well done, well done to your <laughs> dice yeah. and uh, to the idea that worked out. I am yes. quite happy right now. <laughs> um, the, the next summary, well, I don't know if uh, maybe Dennis will want to do it if I... Um, Talk to him about it, and he is down Oof. for it. Otherwise, I'll let you know, Virion, uh, enjoy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you like to yeah, do, just do that? Let, let me know as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Might have a yeah. heist part two next time. We'll do. Heist More part heist. two. Heist. Yeah, that's where we'll end the, the stream as well. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.